Hey folks, coming back with this video. Um, real quick, uh, there's a few things I want to address. First and foremost, let's address this uh, situation with the uh, uh, the telemarketing uh, program that I have for $99. Uh, I have exactly one spot left for that. Um, but here it is, folks. Let me let me talk on this for a, a split second. Uh, as I sit here because uh, I think it's a misunderstanding okay when you guys pay your money what you're getting is a service okay and the service would be the same type of service that my own representatives supply to me for my business okay so what happens is is that once you pay the $99, you would be faxed or mailed a um, an agreement. And you have to read the agreement, sign and date it and etc. Get it back over to my office. And from there, we go ahead and pretty much process. Now, for those that ask me about leads, when you submit, when you submit the leads over to me, you have three months, guys. So if you submit me 100 leads to start, that's what you do. If you submit me 200 leads, that's what you do. You have three months of uh, lead sending. So it's up to you to keep the leads coming in to me. Whatever you want to start is what you want to start. If you want 50 leads, we're going to do whatever you send. Okay? Obviously, the more the, the more leads you send, the better chances you are uh, you'll have in uh, landing new potential clients okay so I just want to get that out the way second secondly um you guys have to supply me with information about your business again we're an acting company acting as your business okay we call it from a totally different state uh, so you have to give us a little intel on your business we need to know you know where you're located what you you know a lot of different things we need need to know you know a phone number a contact person you know etc so that way we can feed that information to the right um, so yeah so we can have that information fed throughout our our staff so they know how to deal with that okay um, it's imperative guys a lot of you guys like to email us email us a lot about um, you have to be phone accessible uh, for this to work okay because it, a lot of times it's people don't sit at the computers you know all day whereas I mean if you got a mobile device you know it's easy for us to call you know even now with texting texting isn't good because texting can be misunderstood I can text you right now and I might mean it to go out one way and you might receive it another way so when you read it you might think oh I'm you know I'm, I'm talking one way when I'm really talking another way so uh, essentially you guys have to help me help you okay uh, this is the best deal on the internet no one is doing this for 99 bucks I'm doing it because a lot of you guys say you need help a lot of you guys I'm pretty positive that I can help you you know I know the verbiage but I have to know again a little information about your business the script part I'm not worried about okay we have that down to a science okay with my people we do that all day every day okay so you know I can say approximately maybe more uh, usually not less but maybe more we get at least five leads a week okay and that's on the low side okay uh, another thing I want to touch on real quickly is uh, what's more important hiring first then going to get new clients or getting new clients first and then hiring second and uh, subcontracting should you sub the work out to maybe like a mom and pop type of situation where you just sub it, sub it out and then you give them a 1099 at the end of the year or should you have employees so I'm going to touch on all three of those things real quick First, let's talk. Let's start with uh, employees. Okay, I'm in favor of employees. Okay, here's what I know. Sometimes, if you 1099 someone and they don't file, they can actually fall back on your business in some states. Okay, so you want to check with your accountant or your regulators in that state to know, you know, 
what the laws of the land is in your area in terms of subcontracting work out, okay? Because um, at the end of the year, again, you get 1099, but if they don't file that 1099, right, which means they would essentially owe the government money back because you pay them up front, right? You, you, you paid it up front. You didn't take any taxes out. So it's like just paying under the table. You just give them all of the money and then you 1099, 1099 them and then they file that at the end of the year, okay? But if they don't file, a lot of times that can fall back on your business. I'm just let you guys know. Um, again, you have to check in your area what the rules and regulations are. Um, another thing, uh, as far as hiring employees first and then getting accounts or getting accounts first and then hiring employees, I would say you want to get your accounts first. If you line up employees, they always nice to have employees on deck, okay? So you should always be advertising for employees, okay? Accepting applications, accepting resumes, but you have to be honest with them and let them know that you don't have any accounts available right now, but as sure as soon as you do, you'll be the first to call them. You'll be the first to let them know that, you know, you have accounts and you're now hiring, okay? But in your ad, you should have somewhere along the lines that you're accepting applications, okay? Or you're accepting resumes, okay? So when they send them in to you, you follow them, and then when you get a new client or a new contract, okay, you can at that point go ahead and start calling some of the people who submitted you resumes and who submitted you apps. Um, I found it to be very easy for me to do it that way, so that's the way I do it. Um, but we always accepting apps, even if I don't have any placement for them at the time, okay? So I just wanted to go ahead and do this quick video. I just wanted to touch on a few things that I thought was very important. Uh, again, to recap, for the $99 telemarketing app program that I have available, we have one spot left. We have one spot left. And again, I said I was going to do 10 per 90 days. So every three months, I'll do you know 10 more than the next three months okay it's just I want to make sure that I don't put a lot of weight on my people because it would be much easier for us to handle 10 um, whatever you want to call you guys you know 10 clients than 25 30 clients right because then everybody probably won't get the equal amount of phone calls you're supposed to get you know and on my end I'm pretty much guaranteeing that I can get you clients, right? Uh, I don't put a number on it because each area is different. I'm sure people are going to tell us no, okay? But we're going to work like hell as if we were working for myself, working for my company, okay? So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Um, again, you have to supply important information about your business, your location, the name of your company, the contact person, the telephone number, an email address, a website if you have one. Um, you have to supply some information about this, okay? That way, that'll help us when we call in so we can, so I can have my people trained on your information so they'll know how to, you know, relinquish it, if you will, or give that information out, you know? Um, the script part, again, we have that covered, okay? Um, so yeah, and you, and please be accessible to my people. You, if you guys pay us $99 and then you email us to death, right? Or you text my, my mobile, it's much easier a lot of times to call me. Again, because you could text me something I can misunderstand it or misinterpret I text you back and now we're playing a text game. So... You guys have to look at me as, or look at my people as, you're looking at a new client calling. Are you going to ignore a new client? Because if you're going to ignore a new client, then this is not the business for you. Because you're in the people industry. You're in the people business, okay? So it, it's personal between you and the new prospect or the new client. It's personal. They hire you because they see something in you they like. They didn't hire you because they think you have the best service or anything about your service. They're taking a gamble on you because you are the product at this point. Now, once you start performing the service, then they can evaluate your service. But at this point, you are the product. So they just take an interest in you first and service second.
That's just the way I see it. That's just my analogy behind it. Okay. Um, so again, I hope you guys understand what I mean about the $99 telemarketing program that I'm offering. Um, again, I have one spot left. Whoever want it, again, it's $99. Just uh, give us a call. Or you can call me directly at 419-777-9197. Or you can call the office. You guys have that number. You can email email me and uh, we can give you the details there. Um, so, again, hopefully uh, this video helped you guys out. Again, we talked about hiring first or um, hiring first or finding contracts first. I suggest that you find the contracts first, then hire but you can start accepting applications now, okay? So in your ads, whether you're advertising in a newspaper, flyers, Craigslist, Backpage, Monster.com, wherever, you wherever you're hiring, you just let them know that you're accepting applications, okay? You put that in the ad or you're accepting resumes, okay? And then you just build your resume list up or whatever you build your application list up and then once you start getting new accounts you can start calling those people from those apps and see if they're still interested in the job okay we also talked about subbing out the work subcontracting is okay okay a lot of people feel that it's much easier to sub the work out opposed to dealing with uh, employees a lot of times people think employees is a, is a headache me personally I like to deal with the employees okay subcontractors a lot of times you find them rotating a lot because they just sub and they might sub for you and they might sub for another company. Even if you put them on a contract, I mean, you still don't necessarily know what they're doing. I mean, employees can do the same thing, but you already know their employees, right? So it's no different than, you know, someone... Uh, let's put it this way. I had it both ways and I found employees be more loyal to me and my company than a subcontractor will. So you guys can take it for what it's worth. Uh, you might have other vets in the industry that tell you subbing out the work is, is, is better. By all means, I'm not denying that or or defending that, you know. Um, it's just up to you guys. Um, so again, that's how I feel about the notion. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you already know what to do. Uh, otherwise, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. I'm Fabio Hart. The only person that can ever stop you from starting up your own dreams and making it to the top is you.